we are where the rubber beats the road in terms of the United States' commitment to the Republic of Korea and our partnership. So we're soldiers on the ground every day, 12,000 of us that make a great combined arms team. With the rotational force, we're, we're here to, uh, to have a presence on the peninsula and really to strengthen the, the Rock us um, alliance. I think there's tremendous benefit in it because a rotational unit before arriving on the peninsula, they have gone through a training crucible back at home station. They, they all go through a combat training center and where they get certified. So when they arrive on Penn, they are fully trained. It's great to be here with 3rd Infantry Division because uh, the 3rd Infantry Division hasn't been here since uh, really since the Korean War. It's really interesting that we can add this uh, experience to our unit's heritage and tie together a lot of the experiences of our NCOs in different theaters. Some of them have rotated to Europe, some of them rotated to the Middle East. And now this is really you know, a different thing that our unit has not done before. Having a ROC Army officer or not commissioned officer just totally integrating our staff gives us understanding not only of the culture, but how the Rock Army operates. And, and that's incredibly powerful. I mean, uh, on a daily basis, we're you know, sharing each other's space and we're learning from one another. During this nine months, I hope that everybody gets to build relationships really with our Katusas, experience the cultures here. Previous to this, our unit came from a Europe RAF rotation, and now they're having the, the PACOM rotation. So really to see how many cultures we interact with in the Army and build lifetime friends with not only the Katusas, but also Rock Army partners. Just access and understanding. Uh, and I, I think that's what really makes 2nd ID, uh, you know, 2nd Infantry Division, the Rocky West Combined Division, uh, incredibly powerful organization.